Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Eclipse 2020-12 version. That is the current version. So I hope you know that before installing Eclipse, there is a prerequisite that is we need to install Java on our Windows 10 system. So the current version of Java is 15. So at first we will see how to download and install Java 15. Then we will install Eclipse ID. So let's first see how to download and install Java 15. Let's begin. For that, let us first download Java 15. Go to the browser. Now here type Oracle Java. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible oracle.com. So Java is owned by Oracle. Click on the website. We have reached the website. Now on the right, you can see download Java is visible. Click on it. On clicking, you can see Java SE 15. This is the version we need to download. Click on JDK download. Now we have reached the download section. Go below. Here different versions are visible. The current version is 15.0.1. Here different versions are available for Linux, Mac as well as Windows. So we want for Windows. Here it is for 64 bit Windows installer. EXE file. Click on it to download. On clicking, the following is visible. Click on it. I reviewed and accept and click on the button to download. On clicking, the download will start. The download started on the left bottom. So guys, on the left bottom, you can see the exe file downloaded. Now click on the arrow or double click here. I'll click on the arrow. Click on open. Minimize this. Now the setup started. Welcome to the installation wizard. Click on next. Now you can see the destination folder. It will get installed under program files and a Java folder will get created. Under that a JDK folder and all the files of the installer will get saved there. Now if you want to change the location, click on change and from here you can change the location. I'll click on cancel and keep the same location. Now click on next. Now the installation started. Java 15 successfully installed. As you can see here, complete. Click on close. Now let us set the path of Java. For that, let us first see where we have installed Java. Now go to C drive. If you remember, we installed under program files. Java folder got created under JDK. So this is the bin. Click on it and select all and copy the path. This path we need to set. How we will set? Minimize this. Go to start. Type variables. Now here click on edit the system environment variables. Under system properties, advanced tab, click on environment variables. On clicking, you can see here variables for only Amit user and variables for the entire system is system variables. We will go for the system variables option. Click on path. You need to double click on it. Remember that. Now all the paths are visible which we have set in our Windows 10 system. Click on new and here just paste the path. Right click and paste. Here it is. So which path we have set this path we copied this and we pasted the same path there. Here is the path. Click on OK. Now OK again and then OK again. Now we have set the path. Let us now verify that we have installed Java correctly or not. For that go to start. Type CMD. Press enter. Now command prompt is visible. Here type Java hyphen hyphen version and press enter. On pressing enter if the following is visible that is the current version 15.0.1 that means we have successfully installed Java on our Windows 10 system. So guys we saw how we can easily download and install Java. We installed Java 15.0.1 version which is the current version. So guys now let us see how to download and install Eclipse. For that we need to visit the official website of Eclipse. That is eclipse.org. Let us open the browser. We are using Chrome. You can use any browser. 
here in type eclipse press enter here you need to go to the official website eclipse.org but the download link is visible here so you can straight away click on this button click on this link because we need to download eclipse so we have reached the download section of eclipse you can see the link here we will also add this link in the description Herein, the current version is visible Eclipse 2020-12. So underscore 64 means it is for 64-bit system, and we are right now on Windows 10 64-bit. So this is the version we need to download. Click on it. On clicking, you can see the download link is visible for .exe file. Let us click on it to download. On clicking, the download should start. On the bottom left, you can see the download started. It's only 102 MB, so you need to wait for a few seconds. So guys now you can see we have successfully downloaded it here it is now let us double click to install it minimize this so guys now you can see the eclipse installer is visible here in eclipse ids are visible different ids for different languages for example eclipse id for java developers for c c++ for web developers that is javascript typescript html for php developers in the same way other versions are visible so right now we are focusing on java so therein we will install eclipse id for java developers so click on it on clicking now you can see it has automatically taken the prerequisite that is it has automatically taken the link for java I hope you remember I told you that the prerequisite for Eclipse is Java. So this is where we install Java and the same is visible here. Herein the installation folder is visible for Eclipse. So Eclipse will get installed here. If you want to change it, you can change from here. And it will also create a start menu entry as well as a desktop shortcut for Eclipse. So let us click on install to install it. Let's click on install. user agreement that is license click on accept now now the installation started so guys now you can see we have successfully installed it now let us click on launch the shortcut is also visible So guys now you can see it is asking for selecting a directory for workspace now what is workspace it is a place wherein all your installed plugins your project files directory all the resources will get saved so it's a good option to keep it as a default but you can definitely change it by clicking browse here but uh, i'll keep the same now if you want to keep it as a default that is whenever you will start eclipse id again it will again ask the same to add a link for workspace but i want it to be a default so I'll check this and click on launch. So guys, now you can see Eclipse started. Here's the welcome window. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily download and install Eclipse ID. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.